What's up guys, welcome back to the Run With Jay channel. So today's video is going to be a little bit different. Um, it's going to be a tribute video to you guys, my fans, subscribers, runners out there for helping me reach the 1K milestone um, a few days ago. So I'm super excited about this and I, you know, I wanted to make this video to give you guys a shout out to show you how much I appreciate all of you guys out there with your interaction, your feedback, your views and everything to help support the Run With Jay channel. And also I wanted to talk briefly about you know my experiences so far as a new YouTuber to hopefully help uh, others out there or other YouTubers who are looking to see or maybe start a channel as well in the future to get an idea of what it's like to reach this point. So it's gonna be a quick video today, so we'll get right to it, so let's get started. So first of all, I just want to give you guys a shout out to all of my friends, my runners, my uh, subscribers, viewers, and people from all over the world that's helped to make the Run With Jay channel what it is today. And that's been with me since the beginning. I want to just give you guys a you know, thank you for th appreciate all of your support. Uh, you guys make the channel what it is today. You know, I couldn't have done it without you. So, you know, thank you to all of you guys from the bottom of my heart, you know, and I'm going to keep on going and we'll see where the sky is the limit with the channel. So, again, you know, I appreciate all of your support and, uh, you know, you guys really make it uh, what it is. You know, I truly appreciate all of the interactions that I've had with all of the viewers and subscribers all over the world with your comments and feedback, whether it's negative or positive, you know, I take all of that in and I try to make you know the channel better to help you know viewers from you know with all of your needs and likes so again thank you guys for all of that so next I just want to briefly touch upon my experience so far as a new youtuber um, I started the channel about six to seven months ago um, and in the first you know I didn't really know what I wanted to do or you know what their the where this channel was supposed to go I uh, let alone know when I was supposed to hit 500 subscribers or 1,000 now. So, you know, it's, it was a lot of trial and error in the beginning to figure out what I wanted to do, how I wanted to make my videos, and what my ultimate goal was. So, uh, for people starting out, I would definitely suggest, you know, figuring out why you want to do uh, make videos and, uh, you know, what do you think this will benefit you um, in your life or something like that. So, um, making videos is definitely a time commitment and something challenging for you know an average person like me. Um, I have, wasn't blessed, unfortunately, to be a celebrity or to have a whole crew that can help make videos for you. So you know, if you're just doing it by yourself, it's you know, from most people will tell you that are on YouTube that it just takes a ton of time commitment and work um, because you're basically doing everything yourself, like uh, filming, you're recording, you're editing, you're making the music. Um, you know, you're uh, setting up the lighting or the background. So there's just so many aspects of, um, you know, making a YouTube video than just pressing record and uploading it. You know, however, you know, I felt this is definitely rewarding um, and I have learned so much from doing this. And also I've bettered myself in a way since I'm usually introverted. So talking on camera initially was something that, you know, was daunting to me, but I've definitely, you know, felt more comfortable over time and it's something that doesn't, you know, bother me that much anymore so definitely in the beginning you'll hit some bumps um, here and there um, and you know trying to get just your first hundred subscribers um, just getting yourself out there it's difficult when you get like, millions and millions of videos out there to compete with so you know just do it don't put too much pressure on yourself just make one video at a time and just enjoy what you're doing you know don't make it where it's, you have to feel like you have to post a video today or you know you have to do it in a certain format because you know at the end of the day you know you're doing this for yourself and there's no rules on how you should be doing or running your channel um, you know, you do what you're comfortable with. Don't put other parts of your life that are more important on hold just so you can, you know, maybe film a video or something like that. So, you know, get your priorities straight, you know, and get your time management skills honed up and you should be able to be, you know, have a great uh, YouTube career and, you know, the followers and subscribers will come. Just, you know, remember quality over quantity. So, you know, make sure you put, you know, good content out there that people will enjoy and, you know, subscribers are great people and they'll appreciate your hard work and you know they'll help contribute and you know help you know 
uh, give you tips and advice on how to make your channel better. So some advice that I can offer um, to people that are thinking of starting a YouTube channel is, you know, number one is to talk about something that you're passionate about. Um, the reason is I feel like is if you're doing it something just because it's trendy or popular out there, um, eventually you might get burned out. And, you know, sometimes it's just over time it takes a wear on you just, you know, mentally and physically to keep up with all these videos. So that's something that you need to be really passionate about and have something that you, you know, have expertise or you know a lot about where you can keep on producing videos and great content for viewers out there. Second thing is I definitely plan to, you know, incorporate this into your daily life. Um, if you have a job, a family or kids, you know, you can understand how much time those activities already take. So incorporating a YouTube career on the side could definitely be difficult. Um, videos for me take up to four to five hours just to make. So, you know, sometimes you're going to have to stay up late or wake up early just to get those video out. And also, if you have a hobby, for instance, I have to run as well, so it makes it even more harder uh, to put like put all these puzzles together in your life. So definitely be prepared for you know not having a lot of time, free time on your hand to do other things because do making videos does take uh, a large amount of time. So make sure you figure out your time commitments to stick to that, so you can make consistent uh, videos. The next advice I would give is to invest in quality microphone and lighting. So, um, you know, there's it makes a huge difference in your video quality and just overall, you know, presentation. If your your you know videos are you know, well lit or you have good sound quality, you know, it's just hard for viewers to hear um, when you're using maybe a cell phone microphone or something that's far away. Um, you can definitely tell the difference from videos that are poorly produced to you know videos that have good sound and lighting. Um, in there so um, make sure your room is well lit you don't have to buy you know studio equipment for lighting but you know simple light stand or like a home a clip on life from home depot could work just make sure you're well lit so pay attention to small things like lighting and sound quality and your videos will go a long way and the next and final tip i would offer is just to have fun with your youtube videos um you know this is your channel this is your place to express yourself um, there's it's no right or wrong answer to whatever you're doing, you know, um, so don't feel pressure that you have to make every video perfect or you have to cater to what everybody else wants you to do. This is ultimately your freedom of expression and you can do what you want and how you want it. So make it something that you enjoy doing. Don't put too much pressure on yourself to make it perfect all the time because sometimes it, you know, it doesn't turn out that way. So just have fun while doing it and ultimately this might keep you making videos for a longer period of time. So that's pretty much all I wanted to talk about today. Again, thank you guys so much for all of your contribution and support to making the Run With Jay channel what it is today. I'm sure we'll have another conversation in the future when we hit another milestone. So I can't wait to see what the future holds for us. And I'm excited and I'll keep doing what I'm doing to hopefully bring you guys great content. So I hope you guys are staying safe out there and everything's going well. And I'll talk to you guys on the next run.